In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove MDM from Samsung A05 using the box F64. Now you have to identify just as I'm doing now. After identifying backup user backup user create any folder of your choice where you can back up your security files I have created folder for where I want to to save my security files now I'm backing user user partition you can need some time to finish backing up this file it is a big file 1 GB remember you have to choose 1 GB you have to choose 1 GB before you back up this file let's wait let's give it some time it's a big file you have to back up user boot a boot b and ext This is very very important, don't forget, before doing anything, back up those files. As you can see, user is backed up, now we go to boot A, save, the same folder, folder 4, boot B, save, in the same folder for ext backup the same folder the same folder folder for save done now we have to short lst Short RST, then boot the phone in boot mode, as you can see. It has to bring 000, as you can see, 00. Make sure it bring 00, then choose FFU. Select full factory reset, then write FFU. It needs some patience to finish writing FFU with full factory reset. As you can see, it is working. Give it, give it some time to finish. Done. As you can see, we have succeeded writing FFU. Now identify, identify, you would now go to partitions, as you can see it has three partitions user boot a boot b and ext you have to restore those backed up files boot a boot b user and ext as you can see now um i've finished restoring boot a and boot b and ext now it's writing user 
make sure you check if your device is boot enabled after this step let's finish this step and check if the phone is boot enabled it needs some patience to finish restoring these files we are now restoring user 1GB these files contains security files like IMEI SNE and certificates please make sure you restore those files that's why it is very important to make sure you first back up those files as you can see we are almost finishing restoring user yes now we have done fin uh, restoring those files now identify after identifying please erase persistent and param erase persistent and param after finishing this step go to partitions and erase persistent and param then write set efs as you can see and restore persistent also as well as app param restore those three file files as you can see the phone is boot enabled write those three files and now we are done disconnect the phone put the phone on and when the phone powers on very well connect it back now i have already connected now i'm identifying now you have to go to ffu then you restore ffu with smart patches enable smart patches the first time we enabled full factory now we have enabled smart patches this is very important don't forget as you can see we are done make sure you first turn on the phone disconnect the phone turn it on then connect it back write ffu with smart patches enabled then identify just as i'm doing now identify we are done identifying now use rpmb key then read make sure you tick use rpmb key then read rpmb key as you can see it is done now identify identify as you can see identify we are done now write rpmb hope you have rpmb this is edited rpmb write it make sure you follow all these steps closely don't miss any step because when you miss any step you won't be successful now disconnect the phone and write official firmware then unlock bootloader unlock bootloader using download mode with volume up button then 
flash MDM file. You are done. The phone is permanently unlocked. Thank you.